What's up guys, my name is Splattercat and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to be playing a bit more of Warlock Master of the Arcane. So where we had left off, we had finally polished off that old pink bastard Rajak. And we were now finally invading the territory of one of our foes who's been kind of hectoring us. He hasn't really been a massive problem for us. To be honest, he's been held off for the majority of the game by any number of problems that have been surrounding him. But, you know, it's time for him to get his, so that's what we're going to do. And now we can kill some of these wolves here. And so I think that's also what I'm going to do. We have a quest to kill them anyways. So it's probably going to be in our best interest to go ahead and take care of them. And so let's see what we can get done here. I'm hitting the wrong key. God, I've been playing too many different games. I've been messing around with Jagged Alliance lately. And my fingers have just absolutely memorized the keys from that game. And they refused to swap back into Warlock mode. But they're back in Warlock mode now. I was like, why is it opening that window? God. I don't know if you guys ever have that happen to you, but it happens to me pretty frequently when I switch around games. It ends up giving me a lot of problems, and so let's see what we can do with this elemental here, because I don't want him to exist anymore. He's kind of a pain in my ass, and he has been for a large portion of the game, and so we're going to see if we can get him wiped the hell out. And so, Ooh, that was probably a bad move on my part. Oh well. Let's do a swoop -a loop here, and see what we've got over in this area. Okay, so we've got this mystic portal over here and I think I remember discovering that in the last episode so we'll have to at least guard that we're not gonna be able to take care of it I don't think but we're going to at least have to keep an eye on it just to make sure things don't get completely out of line as we move along and so I don't think the catapults can they do anything to him I mean we should probably get them some XP anyways there we go a little bit of XP for the catapult let's take a look and see what kind of upgrades they get obviously we have heavy stones armor plates and armored panels which both sound like kind of the same thing, but I'm going to make the assumption that they're different and go with heavy stones. Additionally, we can also do some upgrades just for armor, it looks like. I think it's only masterwork armor, but I should probably do that because these are pretty fragile, all things considered. They don't have a whole lot of resistances, and so early on, the first 25 to 40 points that you put on one of these things are key. They, put, they give you the majority of the protection you're going to get in the long run. Let's take a look and see who's got some level ups here. So we've got these skeletal veterans. I think it's probably going to be a good idea to give them regeneration. And they've also got a move lined up. And so what we'll do is we'll have them move to there. And it looks like they're going to deal more damage in that exchange. But in the long run, it's probably going to favor their foes a little bit more. Let's hit them with some arrows first. And we'll see if that does any type of substantial damage. Eh, it's not going to allow us to kill them off on this turn. But I think between the charge from them... And perhaps a secondary... Eh, we'll move up on the city right now. Ooh, 20 damage to the city on that first charge. It looks like the city retaliates with death magic as well. So, all things considered, I don't really think he's actually going to be able to do much damage to us in this first little incursion. We should also probably consider... Well, you know, things aren't really in the place that I would like them to be. We'll get rid of that group of wolves, though. We'll definitely do that. Ossus Batum. That actually is a kind of strange name. And this group of wizards looks like they have a level up. Let's give them a bonus to... I don't think the necromancy is going to help considering we're rushing into the enemy's territory. I'm just going to give them a plain old movement upgrade. Here for this unit, I'm going to take a look at what resistances he has. He has none to elemental and spirit and none to melee and missile. And so I'm going to give him the melee and missile buff in the secondary slot. And then... Who else do I have in this area? Let's pan on through. Let's move through and see who's available. We have the opportunity to upgrade them to veterans. I am going to take that opportunity because it looks like these are going to be the guys that I want to head off my assault on the city with since they're immune to most of the damage. I should probably also consider giving them silver weaponry and although our cash flow is a tad low, yes, giving these Lord. guys all the upgrades they need to finish off this assault is probably in the best benefit of our entire offensive. We've also got this wizard, oh, clerics, we've got clerics here. Let's see, do we have anybody wounded in this area? We do, we have a wounded ogre, and we're going to give him a little bit of health back. 8 HP is not a whole lot, but it's something, and something is always better than nothing. And I don't think they're going to be able to reach with that one, and so we'll go to this final, oh, I didn't mean to do that, I was trying to click the little horn. Oh, well. Oh yes, I forgot we had Minotaurs now, so that's actually going to work out really well too. I should probably spend the majority of my cash getting them upgraded in the next turn or so, just so they have just buku defense before we head on in. Yeah, we're going to take Death Bombardment. That's a little unfortunate. I don't know what that's shooting at, but it's shooting at something. Luckily, it's not me. Looks like he has a group of veterans there, and they're way outclassed, so that's fine. That's going to work out to our benefit. 
It looks like we're gonna- Oh, he killed off our archers. Sneaky bugger. That's fine. They were expendable to begin with, and I've got a giant offensive that's gonna be circling around pretty shortly, so I'm not very concerned about it. Looks like the little wimpy ice guys, or whatever those are, those little elementals are gonna try and strike at us. Now, the dwarves are pretty resistant to magic, so I don't think they're really gonna bust through- Oh, that's unfortunate. I was a little worried that something like that might happen, that we might get some kind of incursion from that group from the north. And it looks like it is going to happen, which is very, very bad for us. It's not something that I really wanted to deal with just yet. But the neutrals have got to go, and so if we've got to do substantial damage to ourselves just to get rid of neutrals, I think the extermination of those little bastards is probably going to work out in our favor anyways. I'll bring that unit north, and we'll just start firing volleys at this guy. I mean, we don't really have anything with which to bombard him or pelt him. They're not really the highest level units that we have, and I could have upgraded them and I didn't really think about it. There's more neutrals right here. We have too many death turrets. And so let's actually consider... Let's see here. I'm gonna go with another... Let's go with a craftsman's district, just to make sure we get a little more gold. Our northern border is not defended at all because our... Well, frankly, our dipshit neighbor is not holding down his end of the bargain and defending us from the north, so... He apparently has completely and totally abandoned us, which makes me think that I should probably bring these Minotaurs north. So I'll bring them up to protect this territory. I didn't really want to do that, but I don't think we're going to have much of an option. So he wants peace. He can go to hell and die. We're not actually going to allow that to happen. Ooh, we have a second group of Minotaurs. Okay, that's fine. We can send the other one north, too. That works out great. Now this group, who are they able to shoot at? Oh, there's vampires down here. That is actually kind of a mess. I didn't see that vampire crypt crop up or I wouldn't have moved that in the first place. Where did all of these enemy units come from? God. It looks like, oh, wild uncontrolled undeads roam Ardanium. So that's very... Yikes. Okay, so that's gonna re... that's gonna force us to renege a little bit on how we want to approach the rest of the game. Because we don't have the ability to open up volleys on all of these, I'm just going to kind of pan through and see what we've got. I should have built forts. That was a big downside on my part. That was kind of an idiotic move. Let's go ahead and dismiss that. Dismiss, well, as many of those as it'll let me. We have this group here in Coldshore. We'll have them come up and fight this level 1 group because this group's not going to be much of a challenge anyways. And then one by one, we'll start going through all these units we have left over. We're going to charge that group of wolves. This group right here is going to flood... Eh, maybe not. Attention. We'll have them... Oh, they are entrenched. That kind of sucks. And so let's... It doesn't matter if we kind of lose territory right there. We'll just kind of back off a tad. How is this defender soaking so much damage? That's a little bit weird that they're able to take that much damage. What kind of buffs are they looking at right there? They've got a few that are looking pretty substantial, but... Nothing terrifying on hand, so I guess we'll go... Well, we don't have enough money right now, so we'll let that go. This group here, let's draw them... Ooh, I don't really want to dogpile too heavily on a location, because that's going to put us in the precarious situation of getting AoE'd over and over and over again, which may happen in any case, but I'd like to keep that on the back burner, if at all possible. We'll also storm Blackcliff. I, I, you know, we don't really have a lot of options there, but we may as well do it just to see if we can get anything taken care of in this regard. We can shoot magic missiles from all of these wizards at that location. It's going to help us out a tad, but it doesn't look like it's getting a whole lot done. We'll conquer Blackcliff before we get anything actually crazy done. We'll move that unit to there. They took a little bit of a hit last turn, and so we'll just move these clerics forward and use a spirit attack on them. I, I like the way that attack looks, too. I'm actually pretty impressed with the particle effects and the things of... They, I mean, they're not, like, Final Fantasy quality, but they still look cool. I like how they use a lot of blue effects, things of that nature. I, I'm a sucker for the color blue in magic spells. I don't know why. That's a really weird kind of preference to have, but have it I do, so what can you do about it? And then we'll continue the bombardment of that location just to see if we can get rid of this Champions of Grumgog in there because they've been a problem for us for a while. Other units that are ready to go are this group of soldiers right here who are going to bash against the gates a little bit. And then my guess is that the last unit is another group of veterans. Okay. So we'll have them kind of secure the flank a little bit, although I could send them to the east. I'm going to let my money regenerate a little bit for the time being, and we're going to take an eye. Uh, we're going to take a moment out to. God, we are just going to take so much magic damage during the course of this. I can tell already. 
and he's gonna pull out. God, I hate Nicholas Frost so much right now, but I need his. I need him to win, and unfortunately, he is definitely not holding off his end of the bargain. So hopefully, he will at some point. Now, what units? We're taking a little bit of damage here. The neutrals are really putting up a fight. If I had known how much of a problem they were going to be from the beginning, I really would have focused on slaughtering them. But since they respawn, which is a really obnoxious feature, I, I don't really support that feature. That's a feature that I... God, you've got to be kidding me. I'm spending more time fighting the neutrals than I am fighting anybody else. This is just an absurd gameplay mechanic that I really just am disgusted with. It's, it's one that I don't support. It's one that I don't like very much. It's one that I just don't see the point of, to be honest. Uh, most fantasy, you end up with people taking control of the landscapes as the game goes along. And I don't really like the way that they're able to just keep hectoring me with these obnoxious little level 5 mobs back and forth. Uh, we're going to keep slaughtering this town. We're going to drive them out and take Black Cliff. At least we'll wrest that from their control during the course of this playthrough. If nothing else, these champions of Grimgog, I'm going to try and just force them back and just destroy them as much as possible. I'm going to hurt them as much as they've hurt me, basically. We lost the other group of our wizards, which I don't like either. That's another resolution that I'm not happy about. But we've got to break eggs to make some omelets, so unfortunately, it is what it is. Now, this unit's going to be teleported. No, we're just going to sit them on top of it for right now. This unit here has the ability... Well, let's see what we can do. I think we're going to catapult it first. Just see what little bit of damage we can get off on this unit. Does that tower? Yeah, it's not going to do anything. And, God, I want to cancel the attack. I don't want to look at you. There we go. We'll get a little bit more damage right there. We've got clerics, and so they're going to take a stab at him as well. We've got a nice little bit of mana now, so I'm going to take a fireball and just drop that on him too. Just see how badly we can wound him before we move forward. I feel as though we're not making the advances that I wanted to in this episode, and it's... Beginning to frustrate me a tad, just because, na like, nature doesn't seem to be bothering our opponent whatsoever. It seems to just be taking this location and sitting on it, but when it comes to us, he seems to be pressing his claims in the most irritating of ways. This unit right here, I'm not really sure how they're able to take that much damage either, but we're going to bring in and just bombard the hell out of them with that unit, as we have been the entire time. Just keep throwing grist into the mill unfortunately, and hopefully eventually we'll be able to work our way through all of their defenses. He may be within, yeah, he's going to be within the range of that bat fort, but all things considered, he should probably be okay. He should probably be fine. I don't have a lot more siege units to bring in, and so hopefully we get this city out of the way before the end of this episode. It's regenerating at a ridiculous rate. We don't really have the siege units that I'd like right here. And so in the next turn, I'm definitely going to start wheeling the catapults that way, but I really want to avoid a route from the east. Because the problem is that these are acting very much as his allies. Even though they're in his territory, he's not firing on them. They're only fighting me. It's just, he he's basically playing to his advantages right now, which is a little irritating, but let's see. We'll go with... Honestly, none of these spells are looking incredibly useful to me. I'm just going to go with one that I picked randomly. None of them are really getting the job done, so let's see what we have going on up here in the north. Now, we have a building that we can make up here. We already have a foundry, so I'm not going to concern myself with that. I'm just going to keep plugging in markets and seeing how much money I can make off all of this. Let's do another one right here. I mean, I don't even know if we're going to hold this city right here. It's... Looking pretty precarious at the moment, but we'll do what we can. Over here, we have another building, and I'm just going to go with another, just another market. Over here, we have the ability to make a pumpkin farm, or a magic garden, or a magical testing area. I'm going to go with the magical garden, and once that's up and running, I think we'll be good. We have another level up. So he's at level 9, which is just crazy. We're going to give him the spirit damage because spirit damage, there's not a lot of units that have resistance to spirit damage. So that's probably going to be our best decision in this long haul. Let's pan through and see what else we have going on. Now, I know they're really not going to do a whole lot to this unit unless I do something for them. And so I will upgrade them with silver weaponry for now. We'll have them swing out this way, handle that group of warriors. This unit's going to rest because it's just soaking damage at the moment. We're going to fire some arrows from there. Yikes. We have just problems. We have 99 problems and a lich is one, unfortunately. So let's take a look, and he's going to wipe out this group. 
And so that's one problem taken care of. We got a magic spell right there, and I probably should have paid better attention to what it was. We'll destroy them as well, because I feel like destroying two enemies in one turn is better than destroying one enemy and closing with those vampires. Next turn, we'll come back and we'll handle them with this group of minotaurs. That'll get them leveled up for the assault ahead, too. We don't have a ton of cash at the moment, because I would like to get more minotaurs going. I mean, I would just like to pump out a ridiculous amount of minotaurs, if at all possible. And I th is it this cold shore right here? Okay, cold shore's got the minotaurs. Honestly, I'm just going to keep spitting them out. I, I'm going to spend my cash on what I can afford right now and what I think is going to be the best in the long term for our gains. And I really do feel like the Minotaurs are our best option. We've got a level 6 warrior right here that I should probably upgrade to a veteran at some point. Let's give them the Pathfinder's ability so that they can move a little quicker to the northeast. We have two units left ready to roll. We'll allow them to rest for a turn, I think. This unit is pretty beat up. I'm going to drop a healing spell on him if I can. Let's go for one of the greater healing spells right now. The Blessing of Life, what does that do? Recovers man, uh, increases population growth. That's not what I want. Let's see here, going through the list. Great healing, that sounds just right. And so that's going to take us a little bit of time to charge up. I'm going to let him take a pot shot at that elemental right there because I don't think he's going to die in the next turn or so. Does anything else have a turn? No. Okay. And so let's pass this turn by, and we'll see what happens here. And so another death spell. And we took bombardment there. We took another bombardment. More wolves. What would you know? Unfortunately. Nicholas Frost is over here doing nothing. Just being generally useless. Monsters are now taking their turn. We're going to take a shot from there. Oh, he fired at Frost. So maybe, I'm oh, sorry, he fired at King Lich. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just feel like I'm being ganged up on and I'm not. But I have a real persecution complex right now that I'm definitely feeling the heat of. What did that do? Not much. That healed him a little bit, unfortunately. All right, so it's our turn again. Let's have our archers continue firing. We've researched another spell. And goodbye, champions of Grumgog, finally. We're also going to try and get rid of this little den of thieves over here if we can. Because, honestly, yeah, let's just get rid of as many of these guys as we possibly can before we move forward. Black Cliff is going to need somebody to keep an eye on it, but for now, wizards away! Wizards ho! There we go. Did that kill him? No. Clerics, fire away. We finally brought down that ant. Good, 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 good. And so our catapults are probably going to take care of this issue last, but not least... And there we are. So we've finally broken through. That's going to give my ogre an opportunity to rest before we press him up and to the west. I'm actually going to move these dwarves and we'll swing them through for a sneak attack on the rogues. We'll have them sit on that portal so that nothing else can come out of it. And that turn was actually a pretty good success. Let's go ahead and give him the greater healing right now. And that's going to put him right about where I want him to be. Now... Just goes to show that we have to work for it. We have to work for it, guys. Sometimes I forget it takes a little bit of work to win at, on occasions. We have the ability to do Corrupted Vapors. I'm just going to pick that. I haven't really been casting as much as I should, probably. But I'm going to try to from here on out because we do have an absurd mana supply. So that's going to be something we want to use to our advantage. Let's take a... Oh, I don't know. Another Craftsman's District. Money is something that I really want more of. We're going to come down here, and that used up all of his movement points, really. That is sickening, unfortunately. Now let's take, let's see here, we can build here. Let's do a fort, actually. That's like what we don't have is just that raw melee human damage that we need to be throwing at our enemies when they get too close. Over here, I think we can't do a anything other than a magic tower which is going to be useless to us so it looks like another market let's take our minotaurs and march them up there this unit is going to come over to here and oh my god there are so many units over there never mind maybe I'll just park them in the vicinity of this region and we'll just do what we can what happened to my archers did he destroy that entire archery unit God. Ugh, I really, really, really hate these greater elementals. Like, I despise them. They really just are the worst thing on Earth. And there's just so many of them. It's not like you just have to fight one. You have to fight like a half a dozen of them during the course of an entire game. 
Let's put a few bits of damage on that group right there. It's not really going to do much to our favor. We can build a building here at Fort Witch. I'm really hungry right now, so it seems like a good place to get a sandwich. The Fort of Sandwiches. Turkey sandwiches, hopefully, with avocado and bacon. Mmm, that sounds amazing. It sounds super amazing, you guys. Super, super amazing. And so we'll put another market in right there, and let's just pan through what we've got. Take a look here. And actually, it's not going to kill us to bring them down. These are kind of like the ghosts and heroes of Might and Magic. Or in Might and Magic, anyways. They get health back when you fight them, which makes them a little bit of a problem for us. We're going to keep throwing ourselves at the walls here. I mean, there's not much else we can do. But it looks like we've finally thrown off the defenders, so that's good. And so they'll stop absorbing a sizable chunk of the damage we're hurling at Bonefort. And since we've got more units coming, I'm just going to sacrifice them and just not even mind. That's going to be the way this is going to go. That unit right there has already moved. And the rest of these bombardments. Oh, dear. That's also bad. And so is that my unit right there? No, that's Nicholas Frost. And so Chickenville is being assaulted by undead hordes. Hopefully we'll be able to hold out in the long run. They're taking two sets of volleys right now, but they're pretty resistant at the moment, so don't really know how that's going to go in our favor. Nothing over here is really able to be attacked, and so Nicholas Frost has made peace with King Lich. That's fine. And why did they... Did I click that on accident? I think I did. That kind of sucks. There's a magic thicket right there. Maybe I should probably handle that. That might be where all those Ents are spawning from, unfortunately. He spawned wolves in his city. Bastard. Cheeky bastard. And so it looks like he's going to bring down just whatever units he can spit out at the moment, which is a little unfortunate, but... We're approaching what looks like the 20-something minute mark, which is usually where I like to break off these episodes, keep them nice and fresh. So my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in this episode of our Warlock Master of the Arcane Let's Play. It's been fun, and it's actually becoming more challenging. I figured it was going to be a downhill slope from here, but I actually feel as though we're being forced to face enemies that are definitely conspiring against us. They're, they're getting pretty rough and rowdy up in here, and so... You know, we're going to have to deal with that as it comes. I'm going to space them back while I'm talking. My name is Splattercat, and I hope to see you guys next time. Take care out there, everybody, and I hope your day goes well.